Have you ever wondered which developer on Roblox has made the most money? Have you ever wondered just how much money they've made? In today's video, we're going to be talking about the richest Roblox developer of all time. And I think everyone knows he's a millionaire, but nobody knows just how many millions he's made. Okay, so to start this video off, we need to go back to the beginning. And I'm not just talking about the beginning of Pet Simulator X, or the beginning of Pet Simulator 1. I'm talking about, let's go all the way back to the beginning. So, in the very start of big games, the team was dropping games such as Giant Survival, Build and Survive, and none of these games really made all that much money. So we're not going to talk about them too much, but I still wanted to mention where this studio came from in the beginning. So their first really big money maker was obviously Pet Simulator 1. Back in Pet Simulator 1, it was sort of the beginning of simulators. It was the beginning of hatching eggs, collecting pets, starting to trade, and trying to get all of the rarest pets. Pet Simulator 1 was a huge move forward for the genre, and as the game went on, it became more and more pay to win. They started adding in things such as unlimited pets equipped for April Fool's Day. But back in Pet Simulator 1, it wasn't just for April Fool's Day. Back in Pet Simulator 1, it was a full-time game pass all the time to have unlimited pets equipped, and it cost 40,000 Robux. Now obviously, that's not where most of the money came from in Pet Simulator 1. Most of the money came from just game passes, and not that many microtransactions. But if we fast forward to the Pet Simulator X days, you know things start to change pretty quickly. Okay, so now that we're finally on Pet Simulator X, we can start talking about the big money being made. And we can actually start to calculate around what we think Preston could have made. Now, obviously, unless I have Preston's bank account or his Roblox login, I can't see exactly how much he made. And even if I did have one his bank account or two his Roblox login, that wouldn't even account for a bunch of the money he's made. Because a ton of the money that he made off of Pet Simulator X wasn't actually even from Roblox. So let's go to the very beginning of Pet Simulator X. Let's go to the OG huge cat. This was the first huge pet introduced into Pet Simulator X, and as you all might remember, there were 5,000 initially released, and they cost $50 a pop. So if you do 50 times 5,000, you get $250,000 that Preston made off of the very first huge pet to ever drop in the game. Now, obviously, it costs some money to actually make the plushie itself, but I'm guessing it wasn't more than $10 or $15 per plushie to actually make it and ship it for the company. There was clearly a huge upcharge. It doesn't cost $50 to make a plushie, but I'll just say that he made at least, if you take away around 15%, he made at least $200,000 just off of the original huge cat alone. Okay, so now that we talked about literally just the first huge pet to ever come out in Pet Simulator X, we have way more things to talk about. We have to talk about all of the dozens of Robux eggs and exclusive huge pets and exclusive pets that you could just buy in the shop. We also have to talk about all the toy pets, the plushies, all the different game passes and microtransactions, and also the NFTs that Preston dropped in the middle of Pets MX. But one thing at a time, let's talk about the Robux eggs. Now, if we go over to the index and we look up Titanic, there are 29 Titanics in the game as of right now, and almost half of them are plushies. The Capybara, the Lucky, the Reindeer, the Tie-Dye Cats, the Scary Corgi, Shadow Griffin, Cheerful Yeti, oh yeah, the Hippo Melon, and the Blobfish. Quite a bit of these are toy plushies. 
And toy plushies, they cost $250 each. And it looks like he sold around a thousand of these each. So we have at least $200,000 made from the OG Huge Cat. And we haven't even talked about the amount of Robux he's made yet. This is just the very scratch surface of the money he's made outside of the Roblox platform. Okay, so we have at least 12 toy pets in the game, including Blobfish and Hippomelon. And there's around a thousand of each. But considering Hippomelon and Blobfish had under a hundred of each, we're just going to say around 10,150 Titanics were sold as plushies. And these cost $250 each, but we'll take off $50 for each of them because we have to take into account what it costs to make the plushie and ship it for the company. So let's say that Preston made at least around $200 from each of these 10,000 plushies he sold. That's $2 million just from the Titanic toy plushies that he sold. And then if you add on another 200,000 that he made from the OG Huge Cat, we're already at 2.2 million US dollars. And we're barely scratching the surface of just the things outside of Robux. So if you wanna talk about all of the other huge pets, such as Atlantean Jellyfish, Cat, Jelly Cat, Nightmare Cat, Mystic Corgi, Neon Agony, all of the Titanics that you had to hatch from a Robux egg. Okay, so there's 15 Titanics that you had to hatch from a Robux egg. If you guys do not already know, 10 Robux eggs cost 3,200 Robux, and there are I'd say on average 600 of each Titanic. And I'm actually gonna go over to Pet Simulator X just to go through the index and make sure that my average is correct. Because in Pet Simulator X, it shows the original exist count before transferring. So yeah, if you add all of these Titanics up that are hatched from eggs, some of them have nearly a thousand, some of them have under 500. Okay, so I was pretty close. The average Titanic that comes out of a Robux egg has 679 exist. So back on Pet Simulator 99, if 10 eggs cost 3,200 and the chance of getting a Titanic is one out of 2,000, then we'll say 3,200 Robux times 200, this is the average price it's going to cost to get one single Titanic. If you buy this on average 200 times, then you'll have 2,000 eggs to open, and the Titanic is one out of 2,000. So on average, it takes 640,000 Robux just to get one Titanic. And if you guys remember our previous number, there are on average 679 Titanics hatch each Robux egg. So now we're at 434 million Robux generated for each Robux egg. This is the average Robux generated for each Robux egg. And there's been 13 Robux eggs so far. Jellyfish, Jelly, Nightmare Cat, Mystic, Neon, Balloon, Banana, Jolly, Hologram, Hubert, Fire, Astra, Pegasus, and Silver Dragon. Yeah, 13. So yeah, just multiply this number by 13, and all 13 of the Titanic Robux eggs made around 5.6 billion Robux. Okay, everybody, so the Robux developer exchange rate is you get $105 for every 30,000 Robux. So if you do 30,000 divided by 105, you get 285.7. So if I divide this number by 285.7, you get 19.773 million dollars. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Just from the Titanic Robux eggs alone, not even the other Robux eggs, or the plushies, or the exclusive pets, 
or the holiday packs, or the game passes, or the NFTs, or lots of other stuff that I'm probably forgetting about. So yeah, if you add this number onto the 2.2 million, and the 2.2 million is from the OG Huge Cat and then the Titanic plushies, then you get 21.97 million just from the Titanic Robux eggs, the Titanic plushies, and the OG Huge Cat. Nearly 22 million dollars. And we haven't even started talking about the toy pets. Cause you can buy toy pets at Target, Walmart, like a bunch of different stores. So all of the different things that they sell at stores that don't even give you pets in game, there's just absolutely no way for us to even try to calculate how much he's made from all the different toy pets. Same thing with the game passes. There's no way for us to calculate that number. Like with Robux eggs, we can at least determine, you know, if there's 8 million of this holiday Pegasus hatched and it's a 50% pet, then there's probably 16 million of this egg hatched in total. At least you can use some deductive reasoning with these eggs to figure out how much Robux and how much actual money he made, but when it comes to the toy pets and all the different other merch items and the game passes, there's just absolutely no way to be able to tell how many people have which game passes, how many people have bought which you know, developer items such as holiday packs, ultimate packs, I mean, any of the game passes, diamonds, like there's so many different things that you can buy and we just can't calculate unless we literally had access to Preston's account. There's no way of us knowing. So yeah, this is the number that I got and this is only a tiny fraction. I know for a fact Big Games has made well over $100 million easily because this 21.97 million number like i said is only from the titanic plushies the robux eggs that have titanics in them and then the og huge cat so obviously i didn't even calculate that much so i didn't include all of the exclusive pets over the years i didn't include all of the robux eggs that didn't have titanics in them because there used to be robux eggs that were just huges believe it or not people actually used to be pretty excited when they would hatch a huge pet from a robux egg now everyone's just like ah dang it just another huge not a titanic i didn't include all the game passes the nfts the microtransactions such as buying diamonds or special packs i didn't include all of the crazy merch and other plushies and toy pets and rugs and whatever else they sell plus i didn't include the revenue they've made from their other games such as my restaurant big paintball the the list goes on. If I were to estimate, I'd say Big Games has made easily over a hundred million US dollars. Easily over a hundred million. My actual guess would probably be a quarter billion dollars. I think that Big Games has made around a quarter billion dollars. 250 million. That's my guess. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, I know this video it was super different than others, but I just really wanted to try something new and this seemed like a really fun idea. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button let me know what you think down below subscribe if you have not already and hit the notification bell if you want to know when i upload or go live again and i'll see you all on the next one very soon peace out everybody